You live in a place I can't enter. Out of reach sounds very romantic. Deafness isn't the opposite of hearing, as I think. It's a silence full of sound. An improbable setting for a play that walked off with Broadway's top honors is about a speech silence. therapist and his hearing impaired students, their triumphs and sound their losses. Of... The character is James Leeds, well, the actor really Philip Reeves. He can hear perfectly right. well, so for him the challenge of learning lines and the hand I signing to I match them was considerable. There are many times um, that what I sign on stage doesn't parallel what I am voicing, what I'm vocalizing. So I just have to memorize my signs so that my hands are free to do their own thing. John Rubinstein created the role on Broadway and compared it to Hamlet in terms of difficulty. But beyond the technique is the message. For the play, the play, I had never met a deaf person. And I didn't know anything about uh, the deaf culture and the really incredible strength of the identity of the deaf culture. Mary Beth Barber is partially deaf. In fact, yeah, she is deaf, currently the reigning Miss Deaf America. She plays Lydia, a young student, and brings to the role the reality known only to someone who's been there. The problem of the deaf is not that of not being able to hear, but of being unheard. It's like James says in the play to Sarah, I can never bring you into my world of sound any more than you can open a magic door and bring me into your world of silence but you can always try. Howard Jaffe, The Daily News. Make a connection. Perfect.